YouTube, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Man, so today we up early. Gotta go get a fender bracket. I've been having problems on my whole build fender brackets. This is not the blind mount brackets. This is actually the brackets to the gangster fenders that you can see. So the backside fender brackets that go in between the drives. One of the bolts broke off, broke off inside the bracket, stripped it, and I've been having nothing but problems with it. You know, it's not actually compressing up against the frame. When you put the bolt, the new bolt in there that I put, you know, I had it actually tapped out. And once the uh, the guy got it out for me, I'm having nothing but problems with it. It ain't been holding tight on. It's just been flopping up and down the interstate. So. So I had ordered one last week and it just came in. So I'm actually about to go get that, take the old one off and put this new one on and we should be good to go. And we up early looking for loads. Hopefully we can find something today, posted the truck. Hopefully we can find something good. But this bracket is just crazy. Like it's insane how much just the brackets cost. Luckily I was able to find this bracket at Vendor Eggs for a hundred and thirty some dollars which i guess is not bad i mean if it's gonna hold up you know i haven't had any problems with the other side and i just tighten up the other side just to make sure it was good to go stop it from bouncing up and down because that's what really causes it to really go bad if it's not tight and it's bouncing up and down inside that bracket which can cause it to strip or the bulk the bulk can break off so got a new one gonna make sure it's tight and we should be good to go and then hopefully we can find some you know, hope we find something good. Let's get on down here to Vander Hayes. Just run up here at New London. Man, they got a big variety of parts. You can get a little bit of everything from here, man. Some horns, some lights. So here we go, y'all. This was been giving me problems. This angle bracket, a bolt going here. So in my case, what I was having trouble with, when my guy tapped this out and it broke off and I put a brand new bolt in there and I tried to compress it up against the frame, the bolt goes on the other side and the inside of the frame and it compresses once it tightened up. Mine was stripped inside of those threads. So it just was flopping up and down, giving me problems. So I had to get a new angle bracket and uh. This set right here for one was $131. But on whole bill and Amazon, it was actually $300. So I, Vander Hague's had it in cheaper. And actually, they gave me the complete set. So a $500 set, got it for $131. Can't beat that. Let's go put it on. So let me show y'all what we got going on. We just got back to the truck, so. I got a bolt here and a bolt here that holds the the bracket and then on the other side and then the bolt goes on the other side of the frame goes through the bracket and once you tighten it up it'll compress to the frame and this won't move like this so you got two bolts then I gotta go under here and get the big bolt out and then got a Hot torque, and I got the then I got the L bracket, the new one. They gave us new bolts, new washers, you know, everything that we need. I don't know if I'm gonna go with those. We're gonna see. And then uh, I got a mid torque right here. So, so let's see if we can get this up out of here, man.
this don't need to be replaced. It's pretty good, but you got four bolts right here, and I don't see a problem with this actual panel, so I'm gonna let this be. That way I don't gotta take these bolts off and put the new panel on. Uh, I can save it for a rainy day if I ever have problems again, so got these two bolts out the nuts two washers and uh show y'all so this all it was doing in there i don't know if y'all can see it but it's stripped inside and see it was just gonna keep giving me headaches see how loose that is and uh the frame would get in between the bolt and it's just super loose so washers on in that case these are locking washers so. They're pretty good. New bolts, new nuts, new washers, locking. So now I'm about to get the bolt in there. Uh, hopefully it ain't too bad. I just I'm gonna use my leg to try to push it up, and then I gotta kind of pull back to line it up. So now when it start raining, if I had two ends, it'd be a lot easier. But I don't. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back. So I need her out here because I can't get it myself. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Watch your head. Push it up a little bit for me. Here. 
We got it. Or 
29 at the speedway. Man! I know a great fuel card. Give me some recommendations. I can definitely use it. some fuel
fuel go pick up my fuel call right here. So it's pretty simple. You get a fuel code, you show them, they do what they do, start the pump up for you, get your gallons. Then from there, once you get your gallons, you go back in, get your receipt. Your card already on file, so mud flap and take whatever you spent. to the back of the trailer clean the rest of this stuff out while I fuel up we actually good on reefer fuel we still got about three fourths We get good fuel mileage, everything flat, so I shouldn't burn too much fuel. It's 35,000 pounds, we should be okay. You gotta watch how you fuel, especially with fuel going up. Get your receipt and you're good to go. Then you get your receipt, you're good to go. I was talking to old school. He said, I remember when fuel was 80 cent a gallon. Man! Let's rock and roll, y'all. No problem, brother. Damn the machine. They said I was gonna be waited on. It was first come, first serve. Oh, now nah, you'll be worked on. So will it be a while? Because I got eleven point and yeah, I, I just saw that. I'm like, Crap. yeah, it's eleven point man. I'm like, you know, they said, oh, well, they waiting on you. They get you in. You get right out. Blase, oh, yeah. blase. If it's an appointment, we get you in and out, man. Okay. What's that? What's the trip? It's going to Lexington, Kentucky, down to McLean. You know how strict they are. Yeah, the yeah. That's eleven p.m. too. What's that trigger number? A 3087T. Yeah. Current that dose. Something told me to stay stuck. All right, guys. So, one of them last minute deals. 
And uh, I'm just hoping to literally get out of here in time to start moving, which I think I will. So uh, pretty nice people over here. And uh, hopefully we get out of here in time, make a move on it. And, uh, they get us get us loaded in a decent time. I'm gonna check back within the next 45 minutes just to see where everything at. But I think we'll be okay. Clean trailer. Let them know, like, McLean super, super strict. in the middle a little bit you know that's perfect yeah I should be good I got 35,000 so I just got weight back here all over here and then all the way up here to the nose of the trailer so just wanted to get up under it a little bit more we'll get behind it a little bit more even though it's 35,000 pounds I should be good that's right. So we got out of there in a decent time, y'all. I appreciate those people down there. So they said the load got a one hour window on it down here in McLean. I'm basically trying to make up time. They said I'll be down here at 11.05. My appointment was for 11 p.m. I just want to make sure that I am there at 11, hopefully. But if I do need that window, Hopefully it'll work out and I don't have any problems being down here. So this load came last minute. I was 
I already had my mind made up to stay home. I'm not doing anything. I was literally trying to put a week together on the low board and it was a success to a point to where I couldn't get out of the house with that broker because I couldn't work with him. But everything else, I was booked three days in advance for a decent amount of money. And then out on Thursday. But the broker I was trying to work with coming out of the house, they needed six months. So that didn't work out for me. And I was literally on the boards all day trying to just put something good together this week. This last week, this was just last week was really just you know connecting with different people reaching out to different people and we had some success but this came last minute it worked out i got thirteen hundred dollars with 290 miles i take it same day delivery coming out the night at 11 and uh we empty out the night and then we'll see what we get in the morning we're only 80 miles 85 miles away from cincinnati so we're not too far away from a good area and uh, I'm cool with that. So we did connect with somebody, uh, a pretty big name out of Wisconsin, LTL. And uh, they are willing to work with me, kind of get me in rotation. They gotta, you know, move they, they men around and those those people that, that's been working with them, they gotta move those, those people around and I totally get it. I just wanna get in the rotation and, you know, hopefully, be a reliable carrier for them and I can do good work and be a main guy in their rotation. So, LTL Frank, which I've been doing for five years, and uh, all of that LTL Frank is just all one tent, which is great. I don't have to deal with like a dual tent, but I don't have to have a dual tent unit or a dual tent trailer, so I don't have to worry about that. Don't have to invest into that. Because if I can land this and do this, then I should be okay. You know, most of it is just all cheese. So coming out of Wisconsin. So I'm excited about the opportunity. I'm actually gonna try to get up to Wisconsin or closer to the Chicago area tomorrow if I can. It's just the rates going up there that way from Kentucky is not the best. A dollar eighty, two dollars a mile is not not the best. But I'm gonna probably give them a call and see if I can get up that way for maybe Wednesday morning delivery if they can possibly give me something. But I know he said this week is, is a little bit tight, so might not be able to do it this week, but I'm gonna call him tomorrow morning just in case if I do get something, see if he can give me something. If not, I'll probably just stay around my area. <coughs> but I've been wanting to roll out some content last week. Just couldn't find nothing. And I just felt like it was the perfect time to make connections and do different things so i did that made a few connections and hopefully it worked out we'll see but we on 74 we got about i want to say about another two hours left it's almost 9 it's 8 40 so hopefully we can be there we got about two and a half hours so hopefully we can be there by 11 so I'm planning on sleeping in the dock door anyway. But let's get on down here, y'all. So I'm in door 33. I just pulled in. Guard shit guy, pretty cool guy. Said when you dock, go to sleep. I was already planning on it. necessarily tight but there is no turnaround so they got us making this right instantly and then bagging down and then from there we adopt there's plenty of room though Doc 
Да. was for 11 o'clock last night just now I get my paperwork 15 different POs so I guess it took them all night to do that but we got another load already I booked one last night so we're about to go up here to the blue beacon get some rest and then wake up, polish the truck, and then also got to figure something out with my lights back here. Make sure they working. So, thank y'all for tuning in to the channel, liking the channel, subscribing to the channel. I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video.